the shape and size of an antenna is a function of its purpose. Let us first consider a hypothetical antenna. The point source. From such a source, energy radiates outwards in all directions. The radiated energy can be represented by a traveling waveform. The waveform normally follows a sine curve. Through this antenna, an electron flow will be set up within it. The electron flow first produces a maximum concentration in this direction. Reverses. Then produces a maximum in the opposite direction. Flow reverses. Maximum. This cycle repeats itself at the signal frequency. This electron flow creates a fluctuating magnetic field. As the electron flow reverses, the magnetic field is at a maximum, and the lines of force are in this direction. When the flow stops, the lines of force collapse. As the flow reverses, the field again reaches a maximum. The lines of force are now in the opposite direction. The magnetic field thus reverses its direction at each half cycle of the signal frequency. This is known as the H field. The strength of this field is proportional to the amplitude of the current standing wave. This current standing wave is to be reversed. This changing polarity produces an electric field in phase with it. When the voltage is of this polarity, the field is in this direction. When the polarity reverses, the field builds to a maximum in the opposite direction. This is known as the E field. thus build and collapse 90 degrees out of phase with each other and constitute the antenna's immediate field. This immediate field produces the radiating wave pattern. of an antenna is determined by the plane of the E field. Determined by the plane of the E field. 